Hello, my name is Roy Amit. I'm the head of digital F of the Réunion des Musées Nationaux Grand Palais. It's a French public institute and we are here in Paris at the Grand Palais. So this is the event we called Art Connection. And during this long weekend of July, we present here and celebrate innovation in the world of museum and cultural institution to present art. The project started with this preoccupation that there is a lot of stuff going on in, in matter of innovation in different museum, cultural institution. And we wanted for a, a, a brief moment to put a, a spotlight to celebrate this uh, innovation and to share perhaps also with a larger public this kind of different type of technology that helps to mediate art today. So we were looking around what are uh, the best uh, practice, the best project, and we co-produced actually this uh, event with Google Art and Culture that are based in Paris. This point where we can, we call it deep zoom, where we can uh, look at different kind of painting in a very, very, very uh, close way. We have here two French museums. One is the Musée des Beaux-Arts de Lyon and, and the other one is the Palais des Beaux-Arts de Lille. And you can discover, for example, this kind of uh, uh, painting that show in an extreme uh, detail more than 40 times what we can see in a naked eye. Here it's an example of Bruegel, um, and as you know, Bruegel has uh, uh, lots of different uh, details and characters in, in his work. Um, and with this kind of technology, you can see, uh, you can discover the details, but also the technique. This is an excellent question that put us to the next station where we can find three kind of uh, um, objects that helps to digitize and produce this kind of image. You have here the uh, art camera um, by, by Google. Yes. So this camera takes uh, gigapixel images. One image is more than four gigapixel weight. So you, you can imagine <laughs> how many details we can have in it. The size is, is, is huge. Here you have an Artec uh, device that permits to take 3D uh, digitization of it exactly. Uh, and, and from it you can have uh, great details of sculptures. And right here you have a drone. And this drone with its uh, built-in 4K camera uh, picture um, archaeological sites. This drone used in Palmyra to catch the ruins uh, and to reconstruct them as we can see them later on. There's, a, like, there's more than 15 different uh, type of experience here. We won't be able to see everything uh, but I will show you uh, here you have uh, a very interesting augmented reality experience uh, while you holding your tablet in front of this uh, conciergerie uh, photo you can see how it was in the time of French Revolution and really if you look closer on the other one you can even see Marie Antoinette in her chamber at the conciergerie. Further on, you'll discover uh, another experience of um, augmented reality. Uh, and this is, this was our exhibition last year called Site Eternel that showed the ruins of Palmyra and other archaeological sites in Syria and Iraq. And here you can see how 
the user discover the ruined Arch of Triumph of Palmyre. You can see the ruins here, and with your augmented reality device, it's reconstructed in 3D, scientifically calculated from the uh, 3D print that the drone that we just saw took. Exactly. All these kind of experience are to show the new types of mediation in, in museums. Here, it's a very uh, a nice uh, object. Um, you draw something, and then you've got all the similarities you can true you can find in 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 in, uh, in art. Uh, history. This is a, a Google Art and Culture uh, application that they that show here in uh, f for the first time and it's based on calculation that uh, compare the drawing I just made with more than um, more than a million artifacts that been digitized and uh, and and then you can of course see what it is. This is another very exciting uh, installation. You can see here, let's follow this young lady, while she is choosing Namifer made by Monet and she put them into the digital uh, pool. This is a construction of uh, Giverny uh, Monet house with the pound and the little bridge, the Japanese bridge. <laughs> you can see someone just walking on. And here you have on the on the tablet you have a simulation of uh, the daylight. And for 12 minutes you can see 12 different kinds of lights, and you can see the different kind of nomifer that corresponds to the different kind of and here I put them on the water, the digital one. Yeah, there's four actually, oh, and everyone, uh, each one is uh, have a, a part of the pond that he's uh, absolutely. And and just to to precise, this was uh, create based on more than. 120 different uh, painting by by Monet in order to create this uh, this pound. Before before ending our brief uh, tour, um, here are another two very interesting points. Again, machine learning by by uh, by Google Art and Culture, and if you take someone's photo. Just uh, you can find the matches of this photo taken in the um, huge database of artworks based on color analysis. Here, before we end, you can uh, taste uh, candies uh, printed by these uh, 3, uh, uh, 3D painting, 3D print uh, machine, and it printed its uh, its candies based on 3D uh, works from. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> But it's, it's. <laughs> I can assure you, it's uh, it's tasty. <laughs> okay. And before before ending this uh, uh, rapid tour, you have the VR section here with the VR cinema um, proposed by Arte, uh, where you can discover ten different films um, uh, created. 
euh, Around Art. Euh, Gauguin, Manet, euh, Munch, euh, different kind of uh, VR experience inspired by this, this work. And to end this last uh, presentation is the tilt brush application. Yes, when you can create your own works using this application. What we can see today that digital is everywhere. It's part of our lives. This is why uh, museum and cultural institution have to incorporate it in their way of thinking, in the way of interacting with public. This kind of event is a moment of celebration to say there's a lot going on, let's look at it and let's back, go back to the different museum and exhibition and cultural institution to discover this very art form in new ways. I think that we should have no boundaries in the way we imagine and the way we think uh, first about art but also the way we can approach to art. And so all these new technologies, new stuff that's going on today that will come up tomorrow, I think are wonderful in order to uh, experience this way to art. I think museums uh, will use this kind of technology, all this kind of technology more and more because it's part of our life and it permits a um, new way to explore and experience uh, art. Thank you.